Digital image correlation is an innovative optical measurement technique for determining strains and deflections in structures without a need for surface contact or rail and highway possessions. Atkins DAC capability was developed through a research project started in 2011 and since then we were able to successfully transfer DAC technique from lab to real-world applications and now there's structural monitoring. The DAC method uses pattern recognition technology, cameras and image correlation algorithms to determine formation from small movements of the image pixels. The DAC technology can be used for measurement of displacements and local strains, typical examples being bridge deck displacement and rotation, bearing movement, cable deformation, pier deck relative movement and local strains and stresses. Over the last few years, we have used DAC across a number of projects and countries, demonstrating cost savings and gathering information that could not be obtained by conventional means. As a camera-based technology, the DAC system can be set up remote from traveling public, meaning no disruption to rail and road traffic and a safer working environment. DAC is independent of material and scale and can be used for short and long-term monitoring. For example, on the Great Bell Bridge, we use DAC to remotely monitor rotation and movement of the expansion joint due to temperature over a longer period of time. In this case, cameras were set up one meter away from the joint. Then we use the same technique for short-term monitoring of the wind and traffic-induced hangar displacements captured with the camera that was set up 100 meters away. My name is Martin Dubsensen and I'm maintenance manager responsible for operation and maintenance works. The outcome of the long-term DIC monitoring not only helps to better understand the behavior of the expansion joint, but also inform next steps with respect to maintenance strategy. Atkins have a unique expertise within cable fatigue management. Atkins research work developed an innovative method based on DIC that relates amplitude of cable vibration to friction between steel wires and eventually to fatigue life. The outcome of research influenced international design recommendations and can be used for better estimation of fatigue life and management of cable supported structures. The ability to deploy the system in busy locations in the city like the vicinity of the London Olympic Park perform measurements and leave the bridge site within hours makes DAC ideal for quick performance assessments. Dockland slide railway bridge structures required site-based monitoring to contribute to the assessments of the structures and fatigue management. Each structure had its own site constraints and monitoring challenge. DAC was used for each structure, one using a local monitoring approach to investigate stresses at fatigue sensitive detail with a view to avoiding the need for strengthening and the other using a global monitoring approach to evaluate deflections of the impact damage girder, also with the view to avoiding the need for immediate remedial measures. The data were acquired without the need for any rail or road possessions and quantified the true behavior in these complex areas, leading to the conclusion that the defects could be tolerated. I have over 2,500 um, structural assets um, which is an age in stock between 30 years and older uh, and we need to maintain it for another 30 years. So a lot of the challenges we have working on the M25 include um, massive disruption on the network, we can only work at night, so to gather intelligent um, information about our structures requires us to think a bit smartly in using new technology. Uh, so things such as image, digital imaging correlation uh, enable us to get a good picture of behaviour of bridges remotely from a safe position off the network uh, which cuts down on the massive time um, and expense in doing traditional closures for survey works. The London Orbital M25 motorway is one of the busiest sections of road in the UK with 200,000 vehicles per day on the busiest section. We have used the AC on Gate Valley Viaduct as a part of our asset management strategy to measure strain, deflections in multiple locations, bearing rotation and local distortions. All the planned monitoring was carried out within a few hours. DIC monitoring technique proved to be cost-effective and provided easy-to-collect objective measure of bridge performance. The results obtained from the DIC are used to validate the FE models and compare the results with theoretical assumptions. We have also used DIC to quantify strains and stresses in the vicinity of the weld inside the box girder. 
A unique feature of the DIC technique is that it gives the ability to plot strain stress map to visualize the stress concentration and almost immediately identify potential areas of concern. Our strength is that we provide the technical and consultancy advice on how to make the technology work. We are not just about digital, we are not just about technology, we are not just about data. We give advice on how to collect the right information, the right data, and then, once this information is analysed, we help our customers to make the best use of it and understand what it actually means. We are expanding application of digital image correlation technology into challenging areas such as enabling DAC to be used in hard-to-reach locations via drones. This will also allow to perform inspection and gather information on structural integrity of assets like wind farms and high-rise buildings. Our ultimate goal is to help asset managers to safely extend the service life of their infrastructures and keep our networks and cities running.